We look forward every year to the open house at Central York. It's an amazing time to meet people in the community. Obviously our official message is be fire smart, right? We want people to be aware. And if we can do it in an environment when they're not endangered and they're not pressured, it's great. And, and the biggest learners of the group are the little ones. And if we can convert the little ones into doing some fire safety messages, they pass it on to their family too. Like, why are we not doing this at home? Why are we not? Let's have a home escape plan. So uh, we get them in early, we get them on our team, and then they work with us to make it a more fire safe community. And that's what it's all about. So you come here and for free. You get to meet the firefighters, go on the fire trucks, learn uh, about fire safety, and at the same time you get a show. So we'll do an auto extrication show and we'll cut up a car and show you how we would save you in the event of an emergency. We uh, crib the car, which means we are going to stabilize it. Central York sends two to three trucks, which is a total of between eight and 12 firefighters to a motor vehicle collision. Right away, as soon as it's safe for us, we're gonna get a firefighter inside with the, the driver, occupant, occupants, and we're gonna have, we're gonna be there from start to finish. Peace out the car. Good job, guys. Good work. So brand new for 2023, we've partnered with Origin and Cause. So they're a company that goes out and does post-fire investigations. They work with the insurance companies. Lots of great tools and techniques, including the dogs. The dog goes into a building or whatever. He's a drop of, of uh, gas is what we start with. And then uh, reward the dog afterwards with this Kong, everybody has to work for something. The dog finds a, an area where there's substance, an accelerant, and once they find that, they take that sample and goes to the laboratory. It's not all on the dog's part, but it certainly cuts down on the investigator's time and, and working at a fire scene. I use an aggressive indicated dog where he scratches. And when he scratches, he scratches right on the substance that we need to take for a sample. So they'll go out and uh, assist us with trying to find origin and cause, especially if the cause of the fire is criminal in nature. We also have Sugu, which is our drone company. They came out and taught us all about how to fly the drones, how to be drone pilots, so we actually have eight drone pilots here at Central York. So our partnership stems based on obviously software and technology, so enabling and actualizing uh, tools that the fire service can use. Uh, things with drones, uh, which are now being used as a part of the pre-planning uh, for the fire prevention division of Central York Fire, as well as fire suppression. The things of us being here today is to educate the community, educate the, the young ones on a possible career in, in the fire service, as well as STEM. Raising money for the John Janak, Hawkins Janak Foundation for Carbon Monoxide Awareness, and hopefully we can do a lot of raising money for them uh, this year. This year's theme, uh, Cooking Safety Starts With You, pay attention to fire prevention, and uh, that's the theme from NFPA, and we've been supporting that all day long, uh, all year long, and we want to get the message out, uh, uh, pay attention to cooking safety. Well, 
Thanks again, everyone, for attending the open house at Central York. Our new station, 4-5, is officially one year old, and we already look forward to having this celebration and the open house next year for Fire Prevention Week. So please put it on your calendars to join us. Come in, have a good time, learn some fire safety stuff, and bring all the kids. It's going to be great. Thank you very much for coming, and we appreciate you all the time. Mm -hmm.